Pony Pals, it's Emma from Pink Pony Studios and today we have our entire March order here to unbox for you guys. So I'm going to get started with um, the 2017 Horse of the Year. This is an entire box of Bellas. And we haven't gotten an order in since mid-January, so some of this is actually brand, brand new stuff. So this is Bella, the 2017 Horse of the Year. And I have actually not seen her in person yet. Oh, she's really cute. Brand new mold and everything. Lovely buckskin color. I love the fading on the tail. She's very pretty. So we have four of her. And actually, look at the difference in shading between these two. Light version, dark version. I think they have just the right hint of metallic in the coat. What a pretty horse. Don't have pricing on any of these yet, but we will have these up on our website soon. If you can check it in the description below, I'll put a link to our website. And um, on to the next box. All right, so this is the next box, box two of three. That other box is box three of three, and this weighs 26 pounds. So this is 26 pounds of briars. And I don't remember exactly everything we ordered because I'm not the one who does the books. That's not me. Um, <laughs> however, in one of these boxes, there should be a Bandera and some other new horses. Actually, Briar finally put Bandera up on their website now. So we should be seeing what he looks like in this box. Lots of packing, which we will definitely use. So it looks like first of all we have, and I'll move the box just a little bit. First of all, we have the new Stablemates Western playset. And this is absolutely adorable. I haven't seen one of these in person yet either. I love, I love the Leopard Appy. He is amazing. I really want to see under the little under the blanket on the little bay too. Loving the wheelbarrow and everything. This is a, an adorable playset. So, what's this? Okay, this says it's the Briar Stablemate Rodeo Assortment. I think this is the. I want to say it's the collectibles. Nope, it is the collectibles. We haven't ordered any collectibles yet, so it's going to be interesting to see these guys and even look in the look at the difference between markings on the two um, the two bowls. This is roller coaster, probably one of my favorites. I like I really like the coloring on him. Next one is Loco Louie. This is almost like a gray. He's a, he's a little bit darker than he is in all all Briar's promo pictures. Really cute though. I love this series of bowls. I personally have the next one, which is Jalapeno. If I can get him out of the box here. I have this one. I've had this one for years since Briar first started doing the collectibles. And he is absolutely adorable. I love the turn down horns. Awesome, awesome bowl. Really excited to have these. Hopefully there will be a lot of kids that are interested in in taking these. And it looks like we have a couple traditionals in here. So let's do let's do that next. Our next traditional is chocolate chip kisses. And we actually had the pleasure of meeting chocolate chip kisses at Briarfest a couple of years ago when he was there with his rider Lauren. Um, really awesome pair. Next up, classics. Now for classics, we have to order in threes. So we actually have three of the little bay pony, little bay pinto pony that's brand new. One of my favorite classics molds, besides the Harper and the Standing Thoroughbred. She is precious. I love the face. Look at her little face. Definitely one of my favorite classics from this year. And none of them quite look the same. A little bit different shading on each and every one of them. Now the next classic 
We have six of these. Oh, and he is pretty. Look at this guy. Chestnut quarter horse. And actually it should be an appendix quarter horse. He's a little bit too light for your typical stock horse. And we have six of these because the next Paint Pony Studios mascot, the first one we did was Paloma on the Harper Mold. And the second one we do will be Stipple, our Leopard Appaloosa friend, on this mold. He's more of a sport horse looking. Um, he's actually a nab stripper, not an Appaloosa. But I think he was best suited for this mold, so look for Stipple come October. That should be when we, we will have our Stipple release. But for now, we have two of these guys that will be for sale. And I think this is my favorite classics horse of the year. Um, <laughs> he looks like a, a friend's horse that I used to know. And I love, love chestnuts with blazes. I'm a sucker for red chestnuts with blazes. Just had to tear, clear the table from the last lot and take a little bit of a break. So now we're back with one of these boxes inside of the boxes. Let's see, not the same thing. Yep, so it looks like we have a saddlebred cross. You know, saddlebreds can't be appy. So we have a saddlebred cross with a corral, western saddle, and rider. Really loving the teal with the bay horse. That always looks really good. So there are three of those ones in here. Next up is our uh, Roan Hornblood and a Roll Top or a half roll top jump with a little set of standards over it. He's actually really cute. Little roan with the blaze, absolutely adorable. And the last one, Tennessee Walker. I like the combination of the white and the red. Kind of wish they would have gone for a black saddle, but otherwise, he's also really cute. Excellent job on this this year. And there's one more. I did not know there was one more. I thought there was only three variations of these. Last variation, another English horse. So we have a another Appaloosa Sport Horse Jumper with a little uh, triple, triple bar fence in here. These guys are precious. And now onto our next box inside of a box. And this is actually the last one in here. And these are the Stablemate Mystery Foal Surprise Sets. And then Briar changed their packaging to this new, um, this new design for the Stablemates. This design, really cute. So this is the Icelandic Pony and POA. Really cute. I love the Icelandic Pony. He's got a little star on his forehead. Adorable. Who else do we have in here? And then this would be the um, little chestnut overo and um, black warm blood, extended trot warm blood. Both of these stablemates were from the World Equestrian Games. Um, the extended trot warm blood is probably one of my favorite stablemates, stablemate molds to date. Really cute horse. And then the last one, hi, it's right here. The braided quarter horse mare and the grua. Rainer. Really cute set as well. I, I love the detail. The band on the quarter horse mare are awesome. So there's our three Stablemate Mystery Full Surprise. I'm not going to unpack the rest of the box because these are all duplicates, but we're going to take a little break and then be on to the next box, our last box. Here we are with our last box, weighing in at 23 pounds, and I'm going to assume that these are all of our traditional size horses. So our first to start out is, looks like, Espresso. Now she is a new for 2017. Um, she is on the Camilla mold, which is a 1-6 scale foal. So think about the size of the American Girl doll horses. If those things had foals, this is how big they'd be. I'm an absolute sucker for spotted patterns, especially when they have a cute little a uh, large snip and a star to go along with it. Unfortunately, I don't collect the 1-6 scale, and Camilla was not my favorite, but she is precious. Okay. 
Our next horse is Banks Vanilla. I can't remember when she was new. I believe it might have been the beginning of last year. But the Connemara Pony, um, she's not one of my favorite color variations, but the Connemara Pony mold is great. I used to have Chanel, and Chanel was absolutely one of my favorites, and I had to sell her because college. But definitely look into getting a Banks, Banks Vanilla if you're interested in the Connemara Pony mold. She is awesome. Next up is Xavier. This guy caused a whole bunch of buzz with Briar. He was on back order for the longest time. You couldn't get him for a while. And when we actually learned about ordering him, it was 10 o'clock on a Friday night that we had to run in and order him. So really awesome horse, love the purple shading. Glitter in the mane, really cool. Kind of reminds me of um, Fourth Wind, the other new unicorn. Next up on our list, Fantasia Del C and Gorzosa SCS. I have the original version, the Hermosa and Corazon molds. These guys are taken, um, but however, we, we probably will be getting some in later in the year as well. Next up, these barrel racing saddle sets. Briar actually commissioned Rachel Thale to design these saddle sets, and I think they're probably some of the best that they've ever come out with. Uh, real web girth, stable, or yeah, sports medicine boots, everything, the whole nine yards. If you're looking for something to do an interesting scene with, try these. Also new for 2017, paint me a Pepto on the Bobby Joe mold. I also have the original Bobby Joe. She's one of my favorite horses and really liking the coloration on this. And I know some people have had problems with their Peptos uh, not having spots on their legs or you know something of the sort. But I mean, this one looks really good and she's also the more matte variation where some people have been getting more satin gloss versions. Also new for 2017, Quinn the amazing eventing Mustang. Eventing is something very near and dear to my heart because that's what I do with my horses. Um, Dapple Grays, probably not my favorite, but I think that it really suits this mold. Um, excellent color choice for her. And also new for 2017 in the stable mate division, the new gooseneck truck and trailer. I haven't seen one of these since they did the old red, red and blue truck and trailers. Uh, different blue than this one, but really cute set. We thought that these were excellent uh, trucks for this year. I personally love them. Going back to the classics line, this is the, probably the set I was the most excited for to come out of the classics. The Heroes of the West set with three of my favorite classics molds in it. Uh, Harper, the Hofflinger Foal, and then the Standing Thoroughbred. Adorable set. Much better shading on the full than I thought it would be. Um, loving the dark gray on Harper and just the whole Western feel. The classics tack is all incredibly detailed. So really, really cool set. Might have to get one of those for myself. And the last thing in this box, we have the tractor playset. And if you're looking for some really cool other animals, these are Awesome. Spotted bull, longhorn bull, the swan, dog, llama, and I believe no pig in this set, but there have been other animal sets where there's like pigs and chickens and whatever, but these are the stable mate tractor animal sets. And we sold out of them last year, so we just had to get more. So thanks for sticking around for the unboxing video. We're probably going to have another one of these in June when we order our mid-year releases. And then when our Christmas horses come in, probably October, there should be more releases before then, um, maybe another web special, uh, another stablemate horse. But until then, check us out on Facebook, check out our website. I'm on Instagram and you can find that on our website as well. Um, links are in the description below and I'll see you later, Pony Pals.